you're looking at some of my favorite uh, hollow body frogs here. You can see I've got some Terminator popping frogs, the new walking frog junior. If you get a close up of this one, you can actually see this one has been, I don't know how many hundreds of bass I've caught on this one frog, but it's been chewed up pretty good. But I keep things simple. You can see I got some shad colors, some bluegill colors, and, and black is actually probably my, my go-to, the one that I show up with that, that particular one tied on. But uh, th this, this suits all scenarios that I encounter on the water. Uh, if I want something more weedless, I go with the, the, the walking frog. If it's more open water situation or you get a little bit of wind and chop, I like the, the, the popping frog here. Um, but I keep it simple. I, think, I don't really think that a bass thinks that this is, they're eating frogs. I mean, occasionally I've seen bass eat frogs, but more, more often than not, I think this is a very good bluegill imitator. So as you can see, we, this is one of my favorite bluegill colors. Very natural, almost a translucent clear on the sides with a little bit of flash. Uh, I, I still, like I said, black is my go-to nine out of 10 times. That's the one that's tied on. But uh, generally, you know, if the water's a little murky to stain, I'd start off with the dark color. If it's really, really clear, I would go with a more translucent, like a shad color or bluegill color. And, uh, but this is it. That's, that's a perfect shad imitator, bluegill imitator. And uh, black is just, it's hard to beat. And, and these lures not only catch a bunch of fish, they catch a lot of big ones.